sending so much love to your light. What is top of heart today? Is that there's so much talk and so much experience in the consciousness world, I'll say right now, about doing the shadow work. Yes, we're in this massive portal of bringing the, the light to the dark. So much darkness is being revealed in us, of us, around us. It's like this great reveal of just where the shadows do live. So we're not denying that shadows exist. There's a lot of trauma release work, a lot of shadow play, bringing the light into the shadows, um, and grief. You know, we're moving through so much grief. So you know, most of you, that I personally went through the biggest grief trauma experience in my life about six, um, about six months ago and took me to my knees. Absolutely. So I've learned a lot about grief. Uh, what an initiation and I am forever changed. And I hope only that it can morph itself into being part of my service. So the reason it's coming up today is that, or now is that I'm also hearing a lot um, of how it's become such the main focus, right? So many people are going deep into their shadow work and deep into the trauma work and deep into the grief work. And I want to say, this is coming from spirit, that it can be easier. It can be a little bit lighter. And not to just like fast forward through the realities of this plane of grief, but what spirit keeps showing me is that there is an easier way, especially when we are moving through like the lifetimes or the, the childhood trauma and some of the old models from third dimensionality are to move into process, to talk about it and to relive it and then to, you know, find proof of it and then perhaps to create resolve with the people who created it. And there's a lot of stirring of the trauma in order to be free of it. And part of what spirit is showing is that there is a way in higher dimensionality and higher consciousness where we're going to identify and then to release and to move almost into a, a new way of, of expediting is the word of expediting, making more rapid, um, realizing in a, in a more, um, rapid manner that the freedom, like the trauma that we've experienced, because, because what happened in the old is very much playing out and finishing up karma. So a lot of that trauma, a lot of the experiences were created based on fulfilling some contracts and some karmic agreements. So if karma is complete and they were completed with the experience, then we also get to find completion with the experience. And part of how they were talking about this was instead of looping, could we just squeeze it out? So we identify and then we find the release valve and then we reprogram the mind to move out of the trauma because so much of trauma creates looping. It creates looping. And part of this from third dimensionality is that the pain body gets activated and the pain body actually works almost like an entity or um, a tag along energy within the physical, mental, and spiritual expressions of body. And it feeds off the trauma. So the mind will keep creating these trauma loops to hold that frequency of familiarity, to feed the beast, if you will, that lives in up and around us. So how do we release this in a, in a more solid manner? Well, that's where they're showing a system, basically, of reprogramming, of identifying, releasing, squeeze, like squeezing it out of the cells. This is cellular repair and crystalline light code activation. So when we squeeze the memory banks, we squeeze the cells out of the, like the, the hold of the memory, we extract it out. Then we can begin to heal the cell and reprogram the cell with a new frequency. And Part of how this happens is through quantum consciousness. It's through consciousness, it's through quantum quantum activations. And so 
we are at a turn time right now where we have to release this trauma of our old experiences and we must rise up new into the truth of who we are at soul level not based upon what has happened to us but based upon who we are in our infinite well of possibilities as as a soul being living in in, in human form and expressing as such so I'd love to invite you to the 222 activation. It's happening on this Sunday. We are in this mass of twos right now. We have the two, 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 twos all over the place. And it's all about that duality into harmony, balance, and unity. So duality has us, has us longing for things outside of ourselves or longing for that part of ourself that's healed. Because we all know that there's a that there's a way home to that healed part of ourselves. Yet we're so wrapped in the trauma expression of third dimensionality that we keep looping in that trauma trying to find our way home. And spirit says, you release that, you rise and you move into who you are at soul level. This is more available to us now than it's ever been because we've crossed over the threshold of third dimensionality and fifth, fifth dimensional expression. It's more available to us now than it's ever been because the density of the old that held us locked in those trauma codes and in those trauma looping responses, they're starting to lift so we may rise in our remembrance. And that rise in our remembrance is that you are whole, you are safe, and you are free. You are sovereign in the grace of light. And so let's collectively release the grief and the trauma. Rise up in the remembrance of who we are and activate our higher ascension light codes so that we can kind of hurry up this birth process for this planet and this new earth. It lives within us. The healing that you desire, the freedom that you know is yours, it lives within you. And with when we come together and we have the support of these galactic beings of the light council we can accelerate the pathway to that healing that's what we're here for that's what i'm here for so i'm going to put a link below i would love to see you on sunday and together we're going to extract the trauma and the grief rise it up and activate ourselves to higher light codes of remembrance so that we might move in a space that's more free, more connected, and with greater love. Sending so much love to your light. Have a blessed day. I'll see you there.